Hello, everybody, and welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Deepest Chamber Resurrection 1.0, a roguelike deck builder that I'm very excited to be checking out again here today. I've played this a couple times now. Once about two years ago, when it first came out, I thought it was all right. I thought it was like a pretty good roguelike deck builder. And then the Resurrection update came out about a year later and completely overhauled the game, turned it into a completely unrecognizable game to me, and I thought it was so much better. And now the Resurrection update is out in 1.0 a year after that, so I'm curious to see what they can do in that amount of time. So in we're gonna go to see what it's all about now. I have done the kind of tutorial thing already, as I have played it before. I remember it was a little bit lengthy and... I understand how to play, and I'll explain it as we get in. So in, we're going to go on difficulty level one here, I guess. I think we only have the one option. But the game is going to be, you know, familiar in some senses as a roguelike deck builder, but there's some interesting mechanics as well uh, that are unique to it that I think are going to be really, really cool to show off. So, hey, choose a hero trinket. So each um, kind of class, like you get, a, you get a bunch of different classes to take in that have their own unique decks and also hero trinkets that might show up here. So you can pick these. The first three times a card gets fully boosted, spread five corruption boosted. I mean, we'll cover that in a second. The first three times when the warrior gains a buff, he also gains an armor. When heroes gain a buff, add a scorch card to your hand. You know what? I'll do that. So, it'll become relevant, hopefully, as we get in. But, here we go. Diving down, you know, a quasi-familiar map, except we're going to be working our way downwards. So, what is a shrine? Apply a special effect to a card? I don't even know what that is. I don't know if I've ever seen that in this game. So, I think I'll work my way there. You may notice I'm starting the run with this guy at 10 health and resurrection sickness. Uh, that is an, an unfortunate byproduct from the tutorial that is still kind of carrying over. Uh, just basically he's screwed <laughs> is kind of the whole thing. Maybe we can find a way to fix it. I don't know. Select a card to upgrade. So we get to upgrade a card in a kind of a different way than like a Slay the Spire. I do remember. So if I click on Fireball to upgrade it, it's not just, it doesn't just get better it gets another opportunity to be better in combat in a way that I'll explain in a second. So it gains another box right here. You see this little boost box. It gains another one of those, which means in combat it'll have a potentially higher effect if we can make it work. So let me just get that. We'll get into combat, and I'll explain what exactly that means. Hello. Hmm. So he is intending to do 20 damage. The pure collector is targeting me. Because of Sakura's resurrection sickness, if he takes the hit, he will be dead. So we got actually a little bit of tutorial still left in this, which is probably good. A good amount. Left click on my portrait and then select the pure collector. So this is a mechanic of the game as well. You may notice we have a party down here. So he is intending to target Sokra. We can use Dorn to swap the target over here. Because Sokra obviously has that kind of nasty penalty to him. And he's already at 10 health anyways. So we can kind of shift around what enemy targets are, you know, attacking. But first things first, I need to gain some block. So you see the little pips right here, the little blocks I was talking about, how they are kind of glowing a little bit more, uh, you know, yellow there. That means if I play this card, the cards adjacent to it get upgraded. They get an additional effect. They say what that effect is right there. This gives me two block instead of one. And this does two extra damage. So if I have two pips there, if I play two cards adjacent to it, like I played this one and then I played this one, for example, surrounding the fireball, it gets upgraded even more. So first things first, you're going to be doing five damage to Dorn. I'm going to... I'm going to go defend on Dorn, maybe. Fireball. We do have three mana, like a normal, you know, kind of roguelike deck builder there. And then if we pop this bad boy, we are overflowing. Which is not a problem in this game, because armor, if I remember correctly, doesn't go away. It does go away. Armor does go away in this game. Some of it doesn't. 
Gotcha. Armor is, that's what it is. Block is kept, but as soon as they are attacked in any way, it goes away entirely. So we have this issue. Cannot direct an enemy's target this round because the hero suffered a hit in the previous round. So because Dorn already took that hit, we're going to need somebody else to take the hit, which is going to be you. Okay. Gain three block. What's the upgrade to it? Turns it into a gain of five block. So this is five damage and apply a week, which makes them do a little bit less as well. So now they're only doing three damage. We can pop on the mana shield if we want. Do I care? Yeah, I should care. We also add a push card, which is push a card all the way to the right. And then exhaust doesn't get discarded at the end of the turn. So we got scorch card. That's just uh, from, oh boy, from the last card we played there. We can use a zero cost card pretty darn well to just like upgrade other stuff for sort of the sake of it. For example, I could push this over and then if I scorch, it's upgrading that. So this game has a lot of interesting positional card playing situations. So it's not just like what cards should you play, but also what order to play them more than some other roguelike deck builders. Because the same exact card, like set of cards in your hand, you might not even want to play a card that you would normally think you'd want to play because it just isn't in a good spot for a really cool play that you see somewhere else. And I think that that's really fun. Anyways, we're going to be getting your attention over on Dorn. Slash, we upgrade the Holy Shield. Five is all we need. So here, Fireball does get upgraded once. It's not even a, you know, it's not a problem or anything. Just not as good as it could be. Okay, blocked. We do have these cards saving their um, their upgrades anyways. So it's not a full waste. My resurrection sickness has now faded. I feel better now. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. Collect a candle. Choose a resource. Oh, boy. This is for, like, some kind of meta crafting thing at home. Potions. A bottle? Sure. Firm grip deal damage equal to the block on all heroes. Gain one block two times. Apply two weak to all enemies and discard a card. I think that firm grip sounds kind of nice. But yeah, the fact about the game, like, there's a lot of different classes... And you can combine all three of them together in, like, super interesting ways. All of a sudden, an eerie calmness comes over the group. A bright light emanates from a shrine of a long-forgotten god. Offerings from the past worshippers are left at the base of it. Make a card innate so it always appears at the start of your hand. Make a card slick, meaning you can drag it to any position in your hand. Or select a card to gain nailed on draw, meaning it'll stay in your hand until we use it. Hmm. Interesting. Let me check my deck again. Is there anything that is screaming any of those to me? Like the upgraded fireball, obviously, like, you know, if we drew that right away, it'd be more likely that we get it upgraded. Firm grip. Obviously could be good. The upgrade for it gives it a minus one mana cost. You can see the boost right here when I hover over. I think that making, just making the stronger card innate, so we'll always start with it, is a good call. Select another card to upgrade. So we get to, like, keep on upgrading cards. The upgrade is gain nailed. Eh. So if we play two cards by this, it gets nailed in place. It's not exceptionally exciting to me. I think let's try and make some sort of like a Scorch deck, maybe. Oops, that's, that's some of me. One second. Okay. So, you are intending to steal a card. The stolen card can be recovered by killing the enemy. You know, my lord. So, I'm not... I'm probably not even going to upgrade this. Because we have heal... Oh, this heal is super awkward. 
We're going to have to play um, something unupgraded, I think. Yeah, this is a really unfortunate hand here. Upgrade the slash. I think upgrading the slash is, I guess, the way to go. Smite five damage and apply a week. I'll just, I'll get the kill. We'll get this upgraded for later. An unfortunate hand. You stole firm grip, you stole smite. Six and six is not that big of a deal. Mana shield is a plus two. It's a game three. We could go like all in ham here. I don't mind that. The question is, are they going to try and run away? Defend here. Gain five. Gain five. We gain the ability to push. This is nailed, so it stays there. So I, th I think I'm going to wait. I'm not going to use it yet. Okay. Everything blocked. All good. We do get to keep this card to upgrade something else if we so chose. Heal makes no sense. Again, I kind of want to remove this from my deck. It it's probably good. But it feels kind of bad right now. Okay, so this slash is already upgraded. Got six damage coming in. Doesn't really... I mean, I guess you could grab just because we have a lot of block anyways. And by that, I mean we have one block anyways. Put it up to six so that it actually will solve that. Okay. Get out of my face. Perfect solve. Six damage coming into you. I feel like we should be able to get a kill, right? Certainly. If not, we can cast push. So we can now move a card down. I think I'm going to... Oh, boy. Huh. How much mana? I got three mana. I don't think I really care. I think I just want to get this out of here. Not that it really matters. So if we do... If we play an unupgraded defend first, that upgrades fireball once. And then we play a mana shield here, so we can block all that damage, which nets us the fireball. And we might as well scorch as well. Okay. Sounds good. Six damage there, that should be kill. Give me my firm grip back, you son of a gun. Looks like the kennels we used to have back home. Raising cattle here? They had to feed thousands of them out, no matter the means. What now? Also, we got experience. Alright, we need purple. We don't have any purple. I mean, a burn potion could be something... I'm just going to get another bottle for a potential healing potion. Deal 10 damage. The next block card played costs one less. Summon scale, gain 10 rage. I think scale, if I remember correctly, is like a zero cost block card. And rage is a 10% damage boost. Add a scorch into your hand. I, I'm feeling like I want to make a scorch deck and I don't know why. Like, I've got my, um, this. When the heroes gain a buff, add a Scorch card. I have not gotten anything with that yet. Let's go t towards the elite. Hello, Margaret. When two cards get fully boosted at the same time, draw two cards. It's really interesting. Round three. A random card in your hand gains another boost level of minus one. It's interesting. Draw a block card. Add a push card to your hand. That's pretty good. 
10 damage, stop the next card from being discarded. Gain four shield, draw a card, add a push card. Draw a card, and then all cards in your hand get fully boosted. It's pretty interesting, too. On boost, deal three damage to all enemies. And whenever it gets boosted, it moves. That's really fun. Okay, that's really fun. Step one, I'm going to regret this, but I'm going to remove heal. It just costs two, and it feels a little bit too tricky right now. And that kind of will change things a little bit. But, like, two cost cards right now feel really specific. Like, really hard to pull off. So that means we could go for a range. See, like, zero costs are so good, especially a zero cost that draws something is really good in this game. Because boosting is also a thing that gives you value. It's not just playing the card, it's also the boosting. Select a card to upgrade. We get to upgrade two cards here. I think the rearrange card was already upgraded. Apply weak for two turns, which is an attack, yeah, their attack damage downgrade on the enemy. Gain 10 rage, which I wish you, you could hover over to see what it does there, but I'm pretty sure it's, I think it's a 10% damage upgrade. Nailed, I don't really care about. What's the upgrade for that? A mana cost decrease on a second upgrade. That's actually a really good upgrade. Sure. Considering we have the, uh, the shield into damage, Oh, God. Hi there, dude. When Eaton deals 2 damage times 5... Wait, 2 times 5 damage. On boost at a time. Oh, no. So if I play a card by it, he upgrades the amount of damage it does. Shoot! I'm going to put block on somebody else over here. Do I slash? Well, where does it go? Okay. Should really matter there. Probably should have kept the push. Actually, yeah, keeping the push so that we can move the, sl uh, the sludge would have been really nice. Draw a block card, add a push card. I'm going to do ahead, do ahead and do a little push. Get that all the way down here. You're doing s sort of an AoE attack here. I don't think I can get your attention. Yeah, because it's an AoE attack. Oh, boy. I have three mana yet. I think we go for all heroes gain a block. Okay, hold on. Don't... I mean, I am going to play that, but I'm not going to play it first. I know that we're going to upgrade this, which is a little bit messy. But all heroes gain a lot more block. I don't really want to use Scorch here. Oh, God. This guy, you really are an elite, aren't you? Eat sludge. When Eaton deals four, deals five damage four times is, is kind of the way to think about that. Oh no. Oh no. Fireball does quite a bit of damage. Currently don't have any block after that, so. Sauce pile, discard pile. I don't have any consumables or anything. I think things are just about to get kind of... Oh, you take the damage. Oh. Oh, that's completely different. That's a, that's like a, that's a whole different freaking thing. Huh. That is a whole different thing. Definitely doing that. An upgrade over here, I guess. You're going to be taking a little bit more. 
You have lower health to begin with, so sure. Man. That makes a lot more sense from, like, the phrasing. It just didn't... It seemed too generous. We could have uh, obviously, like, popped off on that. Push that all the way down, because we do want to play Slash. Defend. You're about to be vulnerable. But we're playing that for free anyways. And we just go down the line. That's already been upgraded. And we go for the... 7 damage and, I guess, the weaken. Not that that's going to help us that much. Firm grip already online. Oh, perfect. Seven damage over here. Again, you've got less. Holy moly. That works so well. That works so well, it's not even funny. Like, firm grip seems just really good. Like, really good. Push is interesting. Mana shield. You're taking the biggest, biggest smack in there. Do you want to whop an eight? It's not really that helpful. So I don't think that's a kill. Seven in a... I, I think seven in a week is probably going to be better than 11 right now, since we can't kill. That knocks the damage down pretty substantially. Hey, about that heal that I got rid of, I'm starting to... Uh, what a surprise, I'm starting to regret it. Cool. We didn't really need to worry there. We took a little bit of damage, but that being the elite, this must have been a medical hall, is not that bad. Heavier and thicker than a regular horseshoe, while the item is in your inventory, it grants access to the commander's secret equipment stash. What? Choose a resource. I can't find the brittle caps. I'll get this so I can go back with something. Get a potion. Apply two vulnerable to the enemy. Sounds nice. Drag enemies, uh, potions on the enemies to use them. Sounds good. Plus one to health. So there's also an equipment system. There's a lot going on in this game. It is uh, wild. We can basically equip this onto somebody. There's even, like, a little bit of meta progress with this stuff. Which, you know, I'm not big on. But, yeah, we can increase somebody's health by a whopping one. Not that that's going to really change much. Gain an extra card draw on combat start. When acquired, pick one of your cards to always appear in your starting hand. I'm going to just go for this at this point. Since we already have the one guarantee. Increase your max hand size by one and gain flurry. Max hand size. Flurry cards repeat their effects based on the number of flurry stacks on heroes. Hmm. Is this is this considered a flurry card then? Probably not. When the target gains a debuff, it suffers two damage. Increase your max hand size by one and gain a flurry. I'm not super convinced we want that yet. I think we would want the payoff first. Eh, probably not. I'll say now. So that cost a bunch, but heal heroes or upgrade a card. I'm going to go for an upgrade. I don't know. Gain Nail does sound kind of nice, but I think the Defend getting another upgrade so we could have another one possibly be a zero cost by playing it right sounds really, really beneficial. Plus, we get so many freaking upgrades anyways. Holy. 
another upgrade that makes it so it goes... Oh, this is a flurry card. Oh. I didn't see that. These are flurry cards. It's it's a block flurry. Oh, well, hey, whatever. That is fine. Easy come, easy go. That actually... That sounds really nice, but now we know. Now we know. Firm grip. I'll go for this. We gain extra rage. 10% damage increase. Forlorn Blacksmith. This is such a... There's so much, like, Dark Souls feeling going on. Uh, Increase damage by 300%. The effect halves when suffering unblocked damage. 300 Wrath and 2 Strength. So I'm going to do that. I want to upgrade this to, to give us the extra Scorch. Because you know what? Scorch is really good against a guy who loses value when he's hit by stuff. So that went all the way down to 2. So he has 302 now. Intends to do 40 damage to me here. I only have a uh, I only have one attack in my hand. So if I upgrade this to at least get scorched, that should help. 25 17. It's not great, but I only had the one to change enemy's target. I know. I was just fine with that. Oh, you're you're letting me know before this happened. Gotcha. Yes, I will now grab your attention. Corrode. Remove block at turn start. It's fine. Move what card to the right? I think we can do a little bit of shenaniganery with this. That does damage, so that's already halved there. That helps. Do a little bit of a fireball. Scorch. Should be taking a whole lot less now all of a sudden. Slash does nine damage. This uh, does seven applies weak. If I cut your power in half. I think the weak is going to be uh, very welcome here. We may consider applying... Um, Applying a vulnerable potion at some point here. Why can't you direct intent? Oh, because you're not attacking. That makes sense. The unfortunate thing, I really wish I had this hand next time. All heroes gain two, so that doesn't go away. Okay. So you guys all have the two. I mean, his goes away, but that's... That's separate. Oh, Lord. Not good. Wildfire's probably good enough. Then we sort of have to smite. But if we pop this, we get yet another Scorch. Alright. Then we just run down the line. That could have been a good turn for the Vulnerable, but I'm such a loot goblin in that sense where I'm like, I'm not using that. I ain't using that. Well, well welcome to hell. That makes that free. Well, if we if we slash, then we make mana shield cuss one, and then we can firm grip can become free. Yeah, no, this works fine. This is actually works about as well as I think it could. <laughs> we definitely could have killed there uh, with the the vulnerable, but 
We're taking how much? Two damage? I couldn't care less. Get him a swamp. I can't find that. You know what? Maybe it's not in this zone. Maybe that's why. I'm going to grab another bottle just in case that's the case. Combat start. Gain a one true silver. Pre prevent one corrode effect. That seems really good. I'll pop that on you. So this is plus five health. I don't think that just anybody can wear anything. Which makes it things a little bit confusing. Can equip cloth. Equip anything. Can equip cloth. Alright. Yeah, that checks out. Deal five damage three times. The damage of a random card in your hand will be doubled. Every run prevent the next two times the party would lose health. Huh. On round three... Are these... Do these only have one use in them? Because it says two out of three. Does this really only have one use? We'll see. That'd be very strange. Gain one point when dealing damage, when dealing sword damage. When four points are gained, summon a Scorch. It's a buff. So Scorch is not fire damage for what it's worth, but that does seem like it could be good with us. Five points when applying a debuff, convert these points into rage. Rage being a damage increase. Gain 5 points when a card gets fully boosted. Convert these points into Rage up to 25 when you gain... When gaining Rage. That does sound fun, but this also sounds like kind of a going for still the build we're looking for. That being said, I don't have anything that makes my Fire Blast like better right now than normal. Check another Shrine. Add a boost level to a card. Minus one energy. Double the last boost level of a card. What does that mean? Is that as good as it sounds? Like double the effect? Draw two cards. An extra two sc scorches. Summon two Scorches. I, maybe this is not as crazy as it sounds. Minus two mana cost. Obviously, all the mana cost ones are sort of useless. I want to see if... Does that really work that way? Yeah, just summon two Scorches. All right. Cool. I kind of want to fight the elites. Making sure we can't hop the tracks there. We sort of got to the point where everything is upgraded anyways. Surprised we left that one for so long. The old one. Ten damage and invulnerable. Invulnerable until attacked with a fully boosted card. So pushing this to the end... Sounds pretty good. So that's a fully boosted card. Step one. I just want to boost this bad boy. Slash. Boost. Get another Scorch. Hold on. I got to push something to the end here. So it gets upgraded. You got so much health, man. So he didn't have the fully boosted yet. Now he has the fully boosted. Understood. Gain one point when dealing sword damage. Anderson. So the upgrade... The thing is, the upgrade is a... Um... Oh, wait. Do you not do sword damage? Anderson. 
is that is that how it works? No, it it doesn't matter if it it doesn't matter who which class casts it. Good. Cuz I was going to say otherwise we would need a lot of special cards from her really quick. 10 damage and 25 affliction, which is a damage taken increase. Okay. We definitely want to upgrade that. The good news is it's pretty easy to do. Two damage ten times. Is there any other... You know what? Seems like a really good time to actually, like, go for the vulnerable there. Make sure the scorch goes somewhere. Good God, he's so healthy. 17 over here. We want to probably yoink the aggro over here. He only does 10 damage that way. Firm grip. We might be able to... Oh, but I'd have to... The order on this is really unfortunate. Because I'd want to upgrade firm grip. I'd want to upgrade holy shield. So we'd have to play both of these unupgraded. Which is a little bit strange. It's very strange. Do that to gain 10 rage. That's fine. Scorch. Should get another couple scorches. 11 damage, 11 damage. This is 11 damage and we get a lava core, though, for what it's worth. You're a tanky son of a gun, man. Holy. 10 damage invulnerable. That's fine. Fireball smite defend defend. Maybe? I think I might as well take it on you still. Why do you have so much health? Okay, immediately broken that shield. That helps. This slash is upgraded. I have two mana. Shouldn't have played that yet. I think that's the thing. If I should, I, if I didn't play it yet, I could have done it in a much better way. Because the goal would be to upgrade this twice, of course. Because if I play this, then I can play this for free. And then I can play the slash. We're not going to get it to the 10 rage. I guess that's not that important. It's not that important. So we slash. Firm grasp. He dies anyways. Doesn't, doesn't matter. Doesn't, doesn't matter. I, I cared for st stupid reasons. City's burning endlessly under a dome. They had no other choice. Special item. Well, this item is in your inven inventory. <laughs> it grants access to the dagger's private stash. Huh. Brittle cap. There we go. Gain two intellect, increasing your magic damage. Sounds good to me. When an enemy dies, draw two cards. When eight cards are played, draw two cards. That's actually really good with kind of our spam deck. I'm really curious on that one out of three thing for this. Because this one, the zero out of one makes sense. It's like, has it done its effect or not? And this one being like, when eight cards are played. Add an ember card to your draw pile. Which is just a mana. 10 damage and apply a, and draw a block card. Slam it. I mean, the upgrade cost makes it go for a minus one. I feel like that actually sounds kind of nice. It only costs one that way on upgrade. Yes, please. Oh, God. 
Hi there. Uh, eight blank and corrode. Is that life steal or blank damage restores health equal to the damage dealt? Gotcha. Yes, understood. Mana shield, I guess we definitely want to pop that on you for now. Everybody gets a little bit. Lava core, get that out of there. Eight damage, I mean, it's good enough, I guess. Increasing our magic damage by two on a run where we're going to be spamming a lot of little hits is really nice. Okay. Oh boy. What do I... I mean, I guess I could push this wildfire. It's not a big deal. I want to put on a lot of armor and then play firm grip, but... I think I... A holy shield, smite, defend on everybody into firm grip is a lot of damage. Undeniably so. Should draw a block card. I mean, that's not going to really help me as much as I would think. Because I can't play it. I don't know why I did that. Maybe it's a zero cost? No, I kind of... I sort of figured. A little bit more damage taken than I would have wanted. Firm grip. The damage of a random card. Okay, if firm grip can be doubled... Eight damage and a crowd. I mean, that works out actually pretty well. A little bit messy. 15 damage, though. Oh, thank God. Okay, good. So, is this all used up? It, it may well be. This definitely worked again, so I don't... I have no idea what the 0 out of 3 means. Maybe the starter things are, get, can get used up. All cards in hand get fully boosted on boost, draw a card. That seems so silly. Gain five shield, exhaust a card in hand and gain energy equal to its cost. I'm going to get that. That sounds really, really nutty. Buy items in exchange for blood. You know what? I want to go to a chest. I feel like I haven't done that yet. Add a Scorch. Scripture. Gain four shield. I mean, block card's not bad. Move the latest debuff. You know what? Let's do that. I Yes, I know there was an add a Scorch card, but I, I still don't have like a reason why we want that yet. Remove all debuffs on double upgrade. I'm starting to think that we should get nailed at this point. <laughs> what? Alright. So you have Wrath. We do like that. On boost, draw a card. Seems silly that we are allowed to do that, but I'll take it. We got for shielding. Call for aid. I don't know if I... Oh, God. What do I do here? 
sort of a six damage, but it's also a preemptive block because it doesn't go away quite yet. So it, it's damage, but also block. Yeah. So a fun thing about Fireball is, is it does a little bit of AoE. That's something that has not been relevant um, quite yet. Does an extra three damage to Jason. There's a lot happening here. Two block to everybody. Sounds pretty good. Oh, my lord. There's a lot of damage coming in. Six damage to everybody, so you're fine. You guys are both taking two damage. You're gonna, t you're not gonna take any, actually. I don't feel like the crab fight should be where I spend my resources, but maybe the crab fight is where I spend my resources. Smite's been upgraded already. So if I upgrade it again, I get the slash. I think that we... The Scorch, rather. I think we just go for this. Definitely a little bit of a defend. Remove the latest debuff. I don't know if I have one. Oh, the, the targeting. We, we can... I didn't know we could do that. We can get rid of the uh, the targeting debuff. That's great to know. Wildfire, probably the way to go. Maybe not. Oh, boy. I'll tell you what. It's going to... No matter what, something's about to hurt. So maybe I do the intellect. I'm going to regret this. You take the five. You have more health. I do feel like I should be able to kill you. Free upgrade there. Three damage. We got you. Should I have used the potion? It's uh, probably not, but maybe. I don't know how much I have. I have three of those. It takes two brittle caps to make one potion, though. Increase your max hand size by one and gain a flurry. So we do know that we have got a lot of flurry cards. Card type is located at the bottom of the cards. Yep. I ha 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 ha. Look your comment. <laughs> Gain ten rage for each boosted card in your hand. Sounds pretty cool. I'll get a mass. We draw lots of cards. Top of the last boost level. Add a boost level to a card of minus one energy. Select a card to game. Nailed on draw. I'm going to double another final. Plus two hand size is kind of interesting. Plus 14 on slam is interesting. Indeed, indeed, indeed. I'm assuming, yeah, we can't double the double. That's pretty good. Making the week last three turns. 20 rage, obviously I thought about that one. Double nailed. I don't know how much I actually care about the double max hand size. That being a four sounds really helpful. That seems like it... There's a chance that's broken, you know? Oh, God, I, I do kind of want that, but it makes sense that that's my final card to upgrade. How many zones... Is, there, is this a three-zone game? Prepare death roll. I don't know what it is. Don't know what that means. I will just be scared. How about that? Block 
here. We got push. Oops, slam that. 10 damage to draw a card. Sure. Mass becomes free. We gain flurry. Certain cards are labeled as flurry. when the, they, Yeah, well, it, this is such a weird time to tell me this. <laughs> this is such a weird time. It's like, here, look at this very obvious thing about flurry. After you maybe would have already. Well, whatever. Tis with tis. Okay. Prepare death roll? I mean, I'm... The fact that you're still not done with it has me very concerned. Scorched upgrade lava. Okay. I can't get the rage until after. Still pretty good. What is death roll? 40 damage. Holy. Slam arcane powder. All cards in hand get fully boosted. I think that does help us out here a lot. Give me a block card. Okay, good. That has flurry on it. Am I do I live yet? Do I live that yet? I'll tell you that's a lot of damage. I do live it. But ow. Holy crap. I mean, we're probably fine already then, right? Like, I mean, we start preparing another block, obviously. As best as we can. This is weird. Slash we definitely go for push just to upgrade something. We get another defend. Defend becomes free. Alright. That works. She's already at 17. We have an extra turn to, uh, to work on this. It's a little bit unfortunate. Oh god, what have I done? I win. Why even do why even do that, right? We have Yes, you're gonna death roll next turn. Oh no. Doing 30 damage there. Why 30? Oh, because the weekend's still going. Man, the fact that I didn't even live this? You're a chump, dude. Live like a chump, die like a chump. Hero gain a new level. You've unlocked mind control. Change the intent and target of an enemy. Well, all freaking right. Fly too weak. Whenever you gain energy during your turn, draw a card. I don't have a lot of... Energy is conserved between rounds. It's actually a little bit more interesting for what we've got. Gain three points when doing spell damage. Convert those points into rage whenever you gain rage. I definitely have ways to gain rage. That's pretty interesting. Because, uh, like, we obviously cast lots of things that do spell damage. So, 25% rage increases your sword damage. But we have, obviously, that one big sword damage blast. Another lava core is obviously a thing we could do as well. We are now in the caves. This all being uh, kept in mind, I don't know how many freaking zones there are. So I think what we're going to do is say this is a long freaking run game and 
I think we'll probably call it there. But I don't know. Yeah, it's an interesting roguelike deck builder. Over the course of the last year, I, I don't know what... You know, they probably made a lot of uh, little changes here and there uh, that have made a pretty big balance difference. It seems like there's more content, uh, more polished content. But yeah, like that, the system of the positional card combat, I think is really, really compelling to me. I think for some, it's going to be a total turnoff. For some, it's going to be probably like it is for me, which is a cool thing that breathes a little bit of freshness into the roguelike deck builder. You have to think about your hand in a different way that I think is really, really fun. The runs seem exceptionally long. I know that I'm like, you know, it's a first run kind of a thing, but the fact that I'm not convinced that this is the last zone has me concerned. It's probably like a three zone into final boss Wombo. But, you know, I see the purple glow right there. And you know what? I see the purple glow right here too. That's another zone of some kind. So I think with that, we see the writing on the wall and we say, that's going to do it here for today. If you guys want more Deepest Chamber Resurrection, you're going to have to let me know in the form of a comment down below. I think it's a really interesting one. I think it's worth your time if it looks interesting to you. It's definitely doing some different stuff. And, uh, you know, just massive shout out to the devs for uh, you know, resurrecting a game that at launch was really just, it was, it was all right. It was like, it was pretty good. Uh, they did a massive, massive turnaround. Uh, what an impressive last patch. The uh, the corruption, or sorry, resurrection patch. Such an impressive thing. Alas, alas, thank you for watching. Thank you, thank you. Check out the channel for Rogue Waste more every single day, and I will see you next time. Bye.